Hi folks, welcome to Collins Model Railway. What we have done today, as you may well notice, I got one, two, three, four trucks, and the brake van, and what we have done is cut a few strips of cardboard, and I put about three layers in the bottom of the truck, and using a little bit of scatter over the top, the green grass as I call it, and what I've done, I painted it with black paint. And this is what I've done on all the four of the trucks. Now, the paint is still a little bit damp at the moment, because I've only painted them about half an hour ago. But I think what I'll have to do, I shall have to put some more paint on here, and then we shall give them a little run on the layout. And we shall probably use one of these three by here. You've got the red little local by here, which is 16440. Or the black local up here, which is 68478. Or the little diesel shunt up here, which is D4174. We shall come back to you soon with that. And here is the black paint, which I use. It is an acrylic colour. You can buy these normally in Poundland. And you usually get about 10 different colours in the pack. So, there you go for now. Hi folks, here we are, our next plan now for the model railway, as you may well see, this is by Metcalf and it is cobblestones builder sheets, you can use these for like a, like a paved area, now in here there are 8 sheets of thick card printed with cobblestones effect, ideal for road and street scenes. Now, I shall show you where I'm going to place these now in a second. I plan to put the cobblestone area in this section by here. I'm going to have to cut and trim the sheets to size before I stick them down. And in the background, as you may well say, there is a cottage, there is a pub, and over there we have a post office and another pub and what we plan to do is to put the four buildings where I put the cobblestone area by here here we are, we have now stuck down the cobblestone roadway all the way as far as the crossing Needs a little bit more work here and there to tidy it up a bit. I've got, as you can see, a couple of cars in there for now. i got the round cottage by here. i got a house by here. I've got the pub by here called the Old Bull. I've got the pub by here called the Swan Inn. And i got the post office by here. Now what I plan to do now is put a fence around here. Some of them wooden fences at the back by here, and some of the plastic fences as well. And we shall tidy it all up then, and see how we go. Here we are folks, another little bit of additions to Collins Model Railway. We shall scan around here what we've done, the area with the animals in the compound. And over by here, what I've done here, I've done a wintry scene. What I'm hoping to do in the next few weeks is to turn it into a Christmas scene. All the cottages light up. They've got batteries in the bottom, the little switches. And as you may well see, I painted the area white with acrylic paint. It's a two coats for now. It's looking quite good. And we shall... Add a couple more bits and bobs on here as you go along. I do need a bit more of a hedge along the edge of the railway there, right down to the platform. And possibly on the edge by here, I shall put a fence along here. And we shall see how we go with that over the next few weeks. Here we go for now. 
Here we are, some more scenics added now to the Christmas section of Collins Model Railway. We have added two Christmas trees in the background. And now what I shall do in the next few minutes is to switch the lights on and show you what it looks like. And here we have the lights on in the three cottages and the two Christmas trees. And what I shall have to do is to come up here and have an evening session and show you a bit more. Here is this section with the model village. What I shall have to do now is to put a fence at the back of the pub and the cottages. As you can see, I got a few of these small fences by here, ready by here. What I have to do now is paint them and place them in position. And if you may well notice, I've got a couple of fences by here. I have to paint these and put them in position by here as well. And as you may well notice in the corner, it's a little bit untidy at the minute. But I shall tidy that up now. I've got a little bit of sandpaper stuff in there. I shall stick that down and shall probably put a small little village in there with a couple of little lights in the cottages. We shall come back to you soon with that. Here we have the Flying Scotsman. The four car set. I have taken it to my local model shop and it is now DC fitted. I shall soon give it a run on the layout and in the background you may well notice the Brighton Bell a few weeks ago I've taken this to my local model shop as well this one is DC fitted as well and we shall give that one a run in session as well soon and of course alongside the Christmas little section on the layout we have this little farmer section here. I placed the hedges around here and I placed this little cottage by here for the time being and what I'm hoping to do soon is to get a couple more hedgerows and fit along here and tidy it up a bit more. And of course with the farmer's cottage by here with the tractor and all the Animals, the little compound by here with the pigs. Now what I plan to do, as you may well notice, I got a little small piece of fence by here. I plan to put, hopefully, a wall along here and match it in with the wall which I already have by here. And along the back, along by here, I'm and decided will I put a hedge or a wall or a fence along there. We shall have a look at that in the near future. And of course in that far corner we shall hopefully put the station building in there. And we shall tidy it up there maybe with a couple of little cottages. We shall have a look at that in the near future. Here we are folks, I'm not sure if you can see it. The Deltic in the background. By here, which I had for £14.50 in one of my local shops. It is a Deltic D9003 and it's named Meld. I shall now give it a little run.
There you go, she seems to be running quite fine. Here we have one of my Hymec class locomotives. We shall now give this one a little short run. She's a bit sluggish, but at least she do work. I'll have to give him a little loosen up sometime. And here we have a class 47. We shall now give this one a little run. There you go, that's it. And here we are finally, we have a Cardiff trolley bus. We shall now give this a run on the track. There you go, hope you enjoyed that. Here we have a class 43 in the old blue yellow livery. We shall now give this one a run.
ಈಗ